You can trust me. Can I? <laughs> Simps be like. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're here for some more classic Who. We've got a story, The Rescue, the first story with no Susan. So no more screaming, no more crying. Let's get right into it. I don't know what to expect. If you're watching this on YouTube, full length reaction to The Romans is up on Patreon right now. Check that out if you want to provide me with income. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whee! You know, this is this is fun. I like this YouTube channel. <laughs> is this like a walk? Oh, is so we at a space station? Are we gonna get a classic Doctor Who story where we're in this you know, little space station running around corridors? We love some of that, bro. Chris Chibnall doesn't love that. It was very routine, running up and down corridors and silly monsters. It could have been slightly better written. The rescue ship can't land silently. It must have done. So do they think the TARDIS is the rescue ship? Are we going to be the rescue ship for these guys? I wonder what the issue is. Watch out for Kukulian. And remember, he knows nothing about the rescue ship. If he finds out, he'll kill both of us. What? Who's this, who's this guy? We're still 69 flying hours away. We'll be there. Try to hold on just a bit longer. Yeah, okay, so it is the TARDIS, right? The TARDIS, they think the TARDIS is the rescue ship. The TARDIS does not look like a ship, though. That's the thing. It looks like a police box. Yeah, I feel a bit sticky. I'm just going to have a walk. Oh, but Doctor, the... Sticky? Why is he sticky, bro? The doctor had an accident in his pants. Then we have landed. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Materialised, I think, is the better word. Really wanted to correct her there. Made sure she gets it right. Gets the terminology correct. Oh. Oh. Bro, the Doctor is a sleepy head right now. We can, of course, always travel through... Solid matter. Yeah, I guess I never thought about that. The fact that how the TARDIS travel logistically works. Like, if they're trapped, like, in a box. Do you know what I mean? Like, it can it dematerializes, doesn't it? But you can also see it, like, floating through the sky sometimes as well. This does not look like the place to spend your summer holidays. Oh, I think I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> a nap? Huh. Well, that's a new one, isn't it? Why does he want to have a nap so much? I've got an idea he's getting a bit. <laughs> Remember, I can hear what you're saying. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. Brother, what's he doing? Who is this nefarious individual? So is this the evil creature that these people need to be rescued from? Or one of them? Maybe there's more, bro. Spaceship. Broken into. Oh, so they okay. They're in, they're in a crashed spaceship. If there are any of those crew members left, we should get in touch with them. It's Ian. <laughs> Bro, that kind of looks like pr the Predator, doesn't it? Sort of, like with the teeth. You landed here in that box. We have no reason to lie to you. Yes, you do. This guy's spooky. You have every reason to lie. One more. He's back in the ship. I would like to meet him. Hey, bro. Yeah, you didn't have to reveal that info. Then again, like, la last time Barbara was asked, like, is there anyone else in your crew or whatever, she said no, and then, like, the person already knew that, and then it was worse for Barbara, so, yeah. You can trust me. Can I? <laughs> Simps be like. <laughs> but... Barbara's dead! She just got pushed off a cliff by a spooky little guy! What the fuck? What? You know, I'm getting into these reactions recently. Can you tell? I'm just screaming and stuff. Did he actually push her off, though? Or did Barbara just, like, walk off because she was so scared of him? What? 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 Did he just do that? What the... Did he just block off the pathway back to him? <laughs> How is so? Where's Barbara landed to not die? I've been here before. I know them very well. They're very friendly people. Friendly? Yes. Oh. They are. So what's? Why do these people in the spaceship think they're going to be killed if they try and leave then? And why did he push Barbara off the cliff? Come along. Don't just sit there, my dear boy. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the doc the doctor got schizo traits, brother. He's like. <laughs> You will go no further than 50 yards from this ship. Alright, so they are imprisoned here. I, I collect them. 
They're very beautiful. I'm going to... Oh, bro, you don't want to get punched by this guy. He's way too spiky for that. They will die of hunger and thirst. I bet you never gave them a chance. You could have... <gasps> Why does she want them to die, though? You should be grateful. So what is this? Did your... Earth people do something to them and, like, they're just mad about it and they want revenge? This guy, he's like Stockholm Syndrome. He's trying to give her Stockholm Syndrome, it seems like. Could you not have seen me helping you here? Oh, right. Barbara's here. V-I-C-K-I. Alright. I'm Barbara. Whatever you say, Vicky. Everyone on board was invited to a, a grand sort of meeting. I couldn't go. I was ill. But it was an explosion. Bennett dragged himself back. I was ill for days. I didn't know about it till later. Wait, so they just invited everyone to a meeting and just killed everyone? For what, bro? What, what have these guys done? Killed all your crew, too. No, they haven't. I don't think he said that. He said they're either dead or they're going to starve to death. Except they won't because they've got the TARDIS. They, they don't have to. You ready to carry on? Me? Carry on, my dear friend. It was you that stopped. <laughs> Was it? Doctor is a funky old gentleman, to be fair. He's a cool guy, I like the doctor. I must have strained it, catching hold of that tree to break my fall. Wow, she fell off a cliff and caught hold of a tree, and that's how she's not dead. Alright, I mean, you know what? Maybe Barbara's the action hero, not Ian. This fire's a flare. Is that for the rescue ship? Yes, I always keep it ready. There's room to land around here, you know? Are you guys listening for if the spooky man comes back? What does his little stick do, though? Because it seemed like it broke down the ceiling of the cave. Like, is he, like, magic? Here, if nobody ever comes, I'm fine. I'm perfectly all right. What? Has she actually got Stockholm Syndrome? What's happening, bro? <laughs> bro doesn't look too happy to see Barbara. Oh, oh careful! One thing's for sure, the Doctor is definitely not the action hero of these stories. I think he will be in the future, though. I've heard, like, stuff about the third Doctor being kind of like that. Like, I've seen, I think I've seen, like, clips of the third Doctor just punching people. That sounds fun. What was that? What did stop me? Is <laughs> What was that? Just shut... Hey, what? Good question. What is that? It looks like a giant scorpion or something. Oh! Sorry, I pulled it out! Right, well, to be fair, Ian, if, when you're looking at the floor there, you didn't need that handhold. Like, the, the, the ground is wide enough there. Putting this thing out. What's that noise, Doctor? Oh, no! It's a booby trap! That's what it is. It's not a handhold. Oh, right. So it's a booby trap, and you're supposed to, like... Oh, okay, so it's to push things off. Okay, so this creature's going to eat them if they fall down, presumably. Okay. That's the cliffhanger. Ian's about to get eaten by the stupid little dog thing. Cool, man. I do like with Classic Who how like they vary the the you know episode length, the story length. I mean, Cause it's it's kind of nice. Sometimes we get really long, you know, big epic stories, and sometimes they're just kind of short and sweet, and I like that. Anyway, so the rescue part two, desperate measures. Doctor. To be fair, they, those spikes might be spread far enough apart that you could just stand in between them. Hey, bro, that was... That was a sticky situation. Just like the doctor's hands when he woke up from his nap earlier. What even is that? It's like... A, I mean, I get it's not real, but... It must have been the strain of walking out here made him collapse. How do you feel? So he's injured. Oh, he, well, I guess he was, he was in the explosion, right? Is that why he's injured? Probably. We might be able to surprise him. He doesn't know I'm here, does he? So we could set a trap and overpower him. Mm -hmm. It's a marvellous... All right, we're going to trap spooky, spiky fingers, boy. We get rid of Coquillion, we gain nothing. If the plan fails, he kills us. Doesn't mean I've lost the use of my brain. Help me to my room. So true, man. Yes. You've done it, Doctor. Yeah? You sure it's not a prank? Don't grab the other hook at the end, though. Don't do that, guys. That would be silly. You know what, Doctor? Oh, come I on. Doctor, don't stop. Stop it, mate. You, you Stop inspecting the spike trap. She about to get jumped by the dog crocodile thing. There's going to be no time to get her. Do you open that? No, come on. Let's go the obvious way. 
Go, go. What is this? A secret little door? Is that going to be relevant? It's got to be relevant at some point, otherwise they wouldn't mention it, right? Uh, no! No! Look at him! Demon creature! No! No, don't! No! Oh, right. That is a strange noise. I guess we've defeated the creature with the flare gun, but we don't have the flare gun anymore, so that's the issue for them. It's Sandy only wanted some food! Look, he was going to attack you! Sandy only ever had plants. I trained him to come here for food! All right. That was her little pet, and she just shot him. <laughs> I don't know, I just think I just find it funny that this guy's just walked out of this door. It's like saying, my dear, but you do look a bit of a mess, you know? Yes. <laughs> Cheer up, thanks. All right, Doctor. That was a bit uncalled for. I don't know if that's going to make her feel better. It was all right before it was. The rescue ship's coming and... Nobody asked you to come here. Nobody. It does seem to be getting upset quite easily. Bennett says that when we get back, we've got to tell them on Earth what they did to us here. He thinks this planet should be wiped out. Yes, that's all right. Bro wants to wipe out the planet. I mean, yeah, that's what people be doing, right? It's just a, a little chance that my ideas might prove the better ones. <laughs> Interesting theory, Doctor. I don't think you need to wait, my dear. You go back with Ian and Barbara. Hmm? Barbara. Oh, now, 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 you... <laughs> Barbara's a trigger word, bro. You saw that, didn't you? Barbara. Ba Barbara. Barbara has, I suppose. Hey, eh? You know she was frightened. This girl reminds me of Susan. I don't know if that's the point. It might be. You must believe what Barbara did. Try and understand, my dear. And why she did it. Yeah, who knew, who knew the Doctor could be so charming? He's, he's really developing as a character rather than just be angry. I swear I swear he's angry and didn't care about anybody except Susan at the start. Doctor gone to see Mr. Bennett? Yes, I took him. Well, no, he's just banging on the door with a log, actually, but... He needs to bring, bring out Grond! 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 I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll put the clip in if you guys don't get that reference. <laughs> Travels through time. We left in 1963. But that means you're about 550 years old. <laughs> no, no, that's not. Well, yes, I... <laughs> Barbara's never thought about that before. Barbara, that's not how it works. You know that's not how it works. The Doctor, a time traveller? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy travels through time. Bro. Where's the cat? Where's Bennett? Tape recordings for what? You can't come in. Bennett has tape recording saying you can't come in? What, what's Bennett up to? Bennett being a sussy man? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Imagine he just did that and the hole was right beneath his feet. Easy way to get out of a locked room. Hmm. Okay, so Bennett's just been leaving, right? Bennett's been pretending to be there, and he's been leaving through the trap door. To do what? Doctor! Mr. Bennett! Can I come in? Has the doctor just gone down the, the hole in the floor without telling them? Probably shouldn't do that, bro. Oh! Is that the other side of this door? Okay, no, this is... Well, no, that's one of... Or is it just the door of the same design that the creature came out of? So is, is Bennett, like, doing something with these creatures? Because, like, he's the only one who survived this explosion where everyone went to the meeting, except Vicky, right? Because she didn't go. That's a bit suspicious, is it not? Especially with these doors and the fact that he keeps talking to them on their own. I don't know. But where could they have gone to? Perhaps Coquillian came. No, we would have heard him. Anyway, the doctor would surely have warned us. He wouldn't go off without telling us. Well, he just, he just has. He literally just has gone off without telling you. Come in. Come in, won't you? <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you. What is this doctor final boss battle of the rescue story? Mr. Bennett, may I remind you that masks and robes such as you are wearing are only used on absolutely... Oh. Bro, Mr. Bennett is the guy? Yes, I had hoped that you would you. Why? At least I figured out that Mr. Bennett was doing something bad. I killed a crew member on the spaceship to Astra. My crime hadn't been radioed to Earth. 
I knew if I could get rid of the other crew members. Oh. So he wanted to get rid of the other crew members and then blame it on these people so that he's absolved of blame. Wow, all right. I just arranged an explosive using the ship's armaments. The whole thing went up. Okay, this guy's a psychopath. You destroyed a whole planet to save your own skin. You're insane. Wait, is every one of these native people dead as well? Oh, oh no, Doctor! Doctor, this is not the fight you want to get. Yeah, use the magic. Wow, so they can just explode stuff with their little stick. What? Bro, the- Bro, the doctor- The doctor- No! No! Uh, who are the- Who are these guys? I I killed all of you! There's more- There's more- There's more crew members? That you didn't know about? Oh yeah, chuck that chair at him, that'll stop him. Wait, so, so, what? Why was there a hole for him to fall down? Ian, we're back in the ship, eh? Yes, I took the liberty of Oof. borrowing your key. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Did he just, like, get go unconscious from being strangled? I want to have a talk with that child. That was quite right. abrupt. Yes, I did pass this. Like, it was quite abrupt. They figured out what happened. Guy got chucked down a little hole, and then the doctor wakes up back on the TARDIS. Then, Bennett murdered my father. Uh, my, my, my mother and father are dead. Is she going to go with the doctor? I've been thinking this all the whole story, but I just haven't said it, right? My dear, why don't you come with us? There you go. I don't know. I just had that feeling the whole way through. You'll be a mouse friend. Hmm? Well, now suppose I leave you here for a moment to think about it. I don't know. I don't know. Why did I think that? I've been thinking this like pretty much as soon as she came on screen is that she's probably going to go with them. And like... I don't know, it's, it's, she just sort of reminds me of Susan a bit, and I guess she also doesn't really have much to stay there for, does she? But it's huge! Bigger on the inside! I'd like to. Yes. If you'll have me. <laughs> Alright. Hi. Susan number two. Vicky. Dido, can you hear me? This is rescue ship. Who are those guys then? They're supposed to want to be rescued, aren't they? Why do they break the communications? Oh, wait. Uh, oh, so those people are natives of the planet. They're not humans from the space crew. It's, and, and then, and so those creatures, they, they just wear the, that, like, you know, outfit. So they wear those spiky clothes. I thought that was meant to be part of the creature. It was an alien. But no, it's just like people looking aliens. Okay. Hey, 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 Tardis! Well, you, well, you don't, don't, don't lean forward like that, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! <laughs> no! Ah, shouldn't there be like? Oh, <laughs> fucking hell! All right, that's a that's a cliffhanger. <laughs> there you go, Tardis has fallen off a cliff, and we've got to wait till next week to find out how. That doesn't end in tragedy. Cool. Yeah, bro. This has been The Rescue. This was fun. Short, it was short, short and sweet. I feel like the ending was slightly abrupt. That's my main criticism of it. But like, it was a cool idea, you know. I like, I like, I like the mystery elements. The fact that Bennett was the guy, and you know, it wasn't actually these evil, pe these evil race of people that would just killed all the humans. But yeah, I, I, don't, I think it was kind of made unclear that the, you know, the the, the, pr the presentation of that alien was the, you know, I thought his outfit was the, the body of the alien, but it was actually just, presumably those two guys at the end, they were actually aliens from this planet, but they just look like humans, but they wear that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of unclear. That, that's my criticism, and the fact that it ended so abruptly, but, I don't know, maybe, because, like, this, this story wasn't, like, obviously, like, oh, yeah, it makes sense this was a two-part, like, it worked as a two-part story, but, like, it could have been longer, to be fair, Espe especially, right, especially, right, as we've got a new companion for the TARDIS crew, right? I'm sort of thinking, like, if they spent, you know, 
uh, you know, at least like a four part story or more with this character, it would make more, you know, it would be like make more sense that it'd be compelling for that character to want to stay with the crew, you know, because they've spent more time building a connection with each other, right? Whereas, like, she didn't meet the Doctor until episode two. Like, you know what I mean? They've shared, like, 20 minutes on-screen time. But, yeah. I still I still enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Some funny moments. Uh, yeah. Just a little harmless little Doctor Who arc, isn't it? Yeah. All right, then, boys. Thank you for watching this one. If you're watching this on YouTube, like I said at the start, the full-length reaction to the Romans is up on Patreon right now, so go check that out. I wonder if that's going to be good. Better be. Better be good. And then we've got the web planet after that. I've been warned in comments not to watch that. And I'm going to watch it, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to watch it because it mm, bug people. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.